So now we need to add the OmniAuth Twitter gem to our Rails app so we can connect Rails to Twitter. So to do that, we'll run bundle add OmniAuth uh, Twitter, and then we're also going to add in OmniAuth Rails CSRF protection. And this is different now than when I originally recorded this series because OmniAuth has released version 2.0, which has some security fixes that require you to make a post request instead of a get request. And that's going to solve some security issues that um, will now be handled. But if you have followed this previously, that get request and version 2.0 of OmniAuth are not gonna get along. So you'll wanna make sure you install both of those. And once we've got that, we can go into our app and we'll go to the config folder and under initializers folder, we'll add a new file called omniauth.rb. So this is where we're gonna define uh, the omniauth setup, and we're gonna add that to our Rails application by calling config.middleware.use omniauth builder, and we'll say provider is Twitter, and that will go look up the omniauth Twitter gem for us and we'll say rails.application.credentials.dig Twitter API key. And we'll do the same here. So let me grab this. And the next one, the next argument is the API secret. So it's basically the same as the line before, just in using secret instead of key. And that's all we have to do to set this up. We're gonna to need to restart a Rails server if we haven't already, so go ahead and shut this down and restart it, and our OmniAuth gem will be ready to go. So our Rails app is actually going to have some special routes that don't show up in our routes file. So if we run Rails routes, um, we won't see anything here with the OmniAuth changes that we added. So these are all of our routes, um, and you don't see anything in here for OmniAuth, but OmniAuth actually has included a route for us, and that route is slash auth slash Twitter. Now, if you visit that route, you're gonna get a no route matches get auth Twitter, and that is because OmniAuth version 2.0 only accepts post requests for the security reasons I mentioned earlier. So we're gonna want to come to our main index view, and then we'll add a button to connect Twitter, and we'll point it to auth Twitter, but we're gonna specify the method as a post request, and then we can just add a little bit of uh, CSS to make that look pretty, and we'll have a connect Twitter button here. When we click this, it's gonna make a post request to our Rails app, which is then gonna redirect us to Twitter, and that's going to add the security step that we need in order to make this work. So if we click this, it will take us to our Rails app, then to Twitter, then back to our Rails app to a special route called slash auth slash Twitter slash callback. And that's gonna include all of the details that we need after the users connected their Twitter account successfully. And then we need to go and listen to this get request and this URL and handle that so we can save those credentials in our database so we can know that the user connected their account successfully. So now we're on that auth Twitter callback URL that's in our settings in our Twitter app. And we have this OAuth token and OAuth verifier up here in the URL. So Rails is now doing that process back and forth, going from our Rails app to Twitter to back. And it's making an API call to get our um, Twitter API tokens. And we can save those now by adding a route in our app that matches auth Twitter callback. And we can then take the parameters from OmniAuth, save them to our database and connect our Twitter account. So it's actually pretty straightforward to do this. What we're gonna need is a uh, get for auth Twitter callback. And we wanna point this to OmniAuth callbacks controller and the Twitter action. So we'll go into app controllers We'll add a file, OmniAuth callbacks, controller.rb, class OmniAuth callbacks, controller. This is a Rails application controller as usual, and we'll have our Twitter action in here. So now we can just say something like render plain success. And we should be able to see that if we go back to our app and we say auth 
Twitter, OmniAuth will take over, redirect us to Twitter, and send us back. So we get our success, and we know that that is all wired up. So the next piece is actually to connect the OmniAuth controller to our database. And we're going to need to create a model for saving our Twitter accounts.